<laughs> you start hitting the button. 5.8 million metric tons of litter enter our oceans every year. Plastics are, most of them are plastics. Most of the litter that enters our oceans is plastics. And you probably don't realize all the different ways that plastics affect our lives, but they are extremely common. Today I'm going to talk to you about what plastics are and what I have done to change it because I have made an effort to change from plastics to safer and sounder things. And also I'm going to tell you why I've decided to do that. What are plastics? Well, if you look in your apartment, plastics are everywhere. If you open up your fridge, you've got milk containers, ketchup bottles, mustard bottles, yogurt containers, candies. Um, then you go throughout your apartment, office supplies. I brought a couple things, the scissors, pen, toothbrushes, and lighters. All plastics are automobiles and our houses, plastics. So what's happening is that there, it's very inexpensive to make plastics. So they are, they are very common. It's being used a lot. They're also very strong. The problem with that is that they can entangle marine organisms and also birds. They are durable, they, la they are very heavy and they're hard to break, but the problem with that is that they don't biodegrade. A lot of these end up just getting broken down, broken down, but they, there's nowhere that the plastics can go when we're finished with them. Another thing about them is that they're very lightweight. So th what that means is that when we're done with them, they float <laughs> and they concentrate at the surface. So I have, I have decided that I'm going to start switching to some friendlier alternatives to plastics. I'm going to tell you a little bit about what I've been doing. I know um, as far as water bottles go, I, stainless steel are very good choices. I noticed a lot of students a lot of times have plastic water bottles, and those are not intended for long-term use. Those are intended for one-term use and they can be dangerous to you. Stainless steel bottles can be very expensive. I know that in Walmart, the super center of plastics, a stainless steel bottle can go about $40, as well as the co-op in St. Peter where I live. I got this one at TJ Maxx, it was only $10. I've also been able to find some cheap ones at my first college, and um, also from donating to different environmental organizations. Another thing is coffee. The foam cups that we have are made of plastics, and this one is actually made of plastics. It's actually a five, so it's safe, supposedly, but the research on that is not done. They haven't scientifically went as far as they need to go in understanding plastics and the damage that they're doing right now. So I do use this. I bring it to the coffee hague. I get 10% off of my coffees by bringing this in. And I found a cheaper one at the gas station for like $2 and it's not plastic, it's actually stainless steel. <coughs> Drinking cups. This was my favorite one, but I'm trying to switch over to glasses now and it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> and also blenders are made out of plastic and um, Plastic water bottles, also those big jugs, are very damaging. They, they, they leak chemicals because they're made so, so strong. Also, another neat thing is that water fountains now have the top spout. You can actually find out how many plastic water bottles you're saving right at the top right corner. It'll tell you how many water bottles have been saved. And that's just a cool thing, I think. Tupperware. They, I actually got some new glass storage containers from Shopco. They're on sale until the end of this week in St. Peter, and I got them a half off. So I've been able to, but these Tupperware things, what am I supposed to do with them? They're gonna go 
to the, they're going to go into the ocean if I throw them out or, you know, if there's nowhere for really it to go once I buy it. So um, I'm still using it for freezing, but I have, I like the glass containers. They're amazing, actually. Bags. Our plastic bags in the United States, where we're, they're very common, other countries have decided to ban plastic bags and they've switched to alternatives. Here you have to ask for a paper bag. I bring this, I got it from one of the environmental organizations that I, that I donate to. And I keep it in my car so that I remember it or else I wouldn't. And I also get sparkling water I get it in glass bottles, and then I use the Brita plastic. It's plastic, but supposedly, according to this Angel Detox book, it's a safe way of drinking your water. And so that's what I do on that side. Now I'm going to quickly go over what this means for us in our environment. We have a plastic sea out there. If you look in The Little Mermaid, she was all excited about finding a comb. <laughs> and that gives you an idea of where our plastics are ending up. There's a thing called the garbage patch where all of our plastics are accumulating. It's double the size of Texas in the ocean, and it's just a sea of plastics everywhere. If you go on YouTube, there's some really cute, cool, sorry, short videos that, that show you how, how crazy it is. Peter Glick, he's a scientist and a freshwater expert, said our world is drowning in plastics in his book, Bottled and Sold. There are also recycling problems. They have no, a lot of these things, places, a lot of these things that we use have nowhere to go. And even this, the city in China, they have a hard time keeping up with all the plastics that are coming there. There's a town that's just washing plastics. They have to sort them. It's very intense, the process that goes into recycling these things. And also in marine life, our, our top of our six pack soda things end up getting strangling on birds and wildlife. And it's also starving birds because they're mistaking these plastic things for food, eating them. Uh, marine turtles see our plastic bags and they, they mistake it for jellyfish or other plankton that they normally eat and they're dying of starvation. Also, one last thing is that the environment is very toxic in these water things. A million times their concentration of poison um, add up in the waters in places. So, Today I've talked to you about what plastics are, what I've done to change, and why I've decided to do that. Switching from plastics decreases the amount of damage to our body and our environment. So don't be just another fish in the sea.